Well, I heard you from miles away. Hopefully you're lambing a lamb and not having an abortion. What's up, lady, huh? Hey, sweetie, how are you? How are you, ear feather? Let's see. Oh, you're only just starting to give birth. Well, hopefully it's not an abortion. Hopefully it's a... Okay, something's wrong. I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong. Poor girl. It's uh, a very early lamb. So it's even earlier than the other ones. So she's basically had an abortion. And uh, it was coming out all wrong. So I had to push it back in to then pull it out. And I'm just gonna leave her be for the moment. I think she probably has another one inside of her. And hopefully the next one will come out easily. But she's had a very stressful time with me trying to push that lamb back inside to pull it out. It was coming out just on the bottom like that. So I had to push it in to get its two hind legs to come out. But you can see it's very much a um, early lamb, sadly. So she's all panty now and exhausted from that because it was very difficult for both of us. Poor girl. I'll let her recover. I'll take this away and let her recover. And if she has another one, hopefully she'll abort it naturally herself. That wasn't fun, poor girl. While all the other sheep are like munching, not bothered. Isn't that right, Ebony? Yeah. So I'm gonna try and get her to stand up don't want the sheep to lie down for too long. It's not good practice, is it? Come on, lady. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. There we go. You look like you still have lambs in you. There we go. Oh, poor girl. And I'm gonna have to go take this away. As you can see, it's very premature, tiny legs. Poor girl. Not fun. Not fun being a shepherd, nor being a sheep when that happens. Not fun at all. See you ladies later. I've moved her over to the um, 
forces area to allow her to give birth in peace. Or abort in peace, rather, I should be saying. There's the second bag. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. I'll come back later and see how you're doing and see whether it's lambing correctly or incorrectly. And you, uh, uh, you're gonna stay away, right? Okay. I've got my hand back up her. It was just a head coming out. So, poor girl. I've had to push her, its head back up, back inside, and I'm now trying to find a leg. I need. There we go. I got the leg now. I got the leg and um. Head coming out. It is a premature lamb again, sadly. There, I had to turn the head around. The head was coming just at the, the pole was coming out, not the nose. So you want the first leg, even though you can see that's a very premature leg. You have to have the leg coming with the snout or the nose of the lamb. Otherwise it won't fit out of her backside and it'll be more agonizing for her than um, what it is. See here, I've got the snout coming out. There's the snout. I don't know if I'm videoing it properly. Poor yo. This is a very premature. And I have a very concerned Inca watching everything. Poor girl. It's not easy doing this. It's... You hate the animal suffering um, for nothing. She's not gonna have any lambs at the end of this. So that makes it very upsetting for me. I might sound like I'm... I might not sound very emotional at the moment, but I can tell you I'm feeling full of sympathy Because I have to help give her birth. Here you can see Incas keeping a close eye on things. I'm gonna have to stop videoing and uh, use both hands. No, oh, she's feeling, feeling pretty wrecked, poor girl. And this is her lamb. Premature as well. That's just after birth. So I'll take this away 
and put it in the bin. Poor girl. Yeah, you got no lambs. You no lambs. What are you doing? Hmm? Ah, oh, another difficult one. Yeah, poor girl. Yeah, let's stand you up. Come on. Stand up. There we go. Ugh. That's her afterbirth hanging out the back side of her. Ugh. All the dogs are interested. Uh-uh. New. This is going to go in the bin.